What we doing? Uh, we over here. My man Chris Boss. We doing a mix down mastering session for G Shock Dougie with Queen P, a Beach of Feet King. She was on America's Best Dance Crew. Moving them toes, moving them ankles. Don't show my ankles. I can't do it. <laughs> I hate when vocals they sound too dry. Like, I just gotta put some type of reverb on it or something. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll make the track just sound more fuller. You can just rock out for the beat if you got it. Yeah. Yeah, you like that. Yeah, you should put like a reverb and a delay on it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, nah, uh, that's that's me. <laughs> right, that's exclusive for me. I'm like, God damn it. I got uh, me and Chris. <laughs> Rick Ross can be like 
uh, Big Meeks, Larry Hoover, and then you wake up the next day and you sing them lyrics, yeah. and you don't, you don't know who. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's just the power of hip hop. So I think it's it's it can it's be like easy. it's because they keep playing it over and over, and they get into the kids' heads. So they want to say, and then they're gonna emulate what's going on on TV when they see the video yeah. too. So. And they don't want the positive shit to win. You That's think about I mean. all the yeah. rappers who win it. Waka Flocka has a number three song on Billboard right now. And he's all gun talk. Talking about killing. Yeah. I mean, it's like the people at the head of the record labels don't want to put out positive material. But, you That's know. That's why you get Lupe's album yeah, held back. Yeah. But a lot you of it. They have a lot of gems on there that are like life changing. They can, you can yeah, they can positively yeah, save yeah, life. Yeah. Yeah. And then. But Kanye knows what the game is. That's why he's being he he's right. playing it. Like he he's playing his right. contract. He's feeding to it. The guys like Lupe, you know, they're, they're never going to get worse. Because yeah, what, it, what, what it really do is it exposed the last 10 to 15 years of hip-hop. Yeah. His album drops. It's going to go platinum. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. And that's public information. And when they find that out, they're going to be like, wow. So I can go platinum without talking about guns and, and drugs and degrading women? I am my brother's keeper, so if I know something, I'm going to tell my brother. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it. We need more guys like Chris Bars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like me. And in other news, I got a show tonight. <laughs> and in other news, uh, back off vacation drops. December 31st. Uh -oh. Two. Uh -oh. Has a two, two. two behind the camera, by the way, y'all. Uh. Twitter him. He's dude Twitter. is a real stand-up dude, man. I seen him yeah, and a cameraman, times. too. Yeah, yeah, and a cameraman. He's a real sit-down dude right now. But when he stands up, he stands up well. <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting down right now, though. But he's still standing up. You got a project. You got something coming out real soon, right? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's a sequel to one of my... Uh, nice plug, too. It's a sequel to one of my... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock. Oh. It's a, that that shit, dude. It, that's yeah, it got me to. Well, she, it's four o'clock. It tells you the time it's around <laughs> seven. Dr. Yeah, voice, you see? See, sex for sex. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Hey, I told you that. But yeah, back to the plug. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a sequel to one of my biggest, not one of my, but my biggest project to ever, like that I ever put out. Apparently, I don't think it's my biggest. I think my last one, Tron, is my biggest. But you know, people. Got their own opinions, but it's called Magna Carta, Crossing the Black Two, and it's gonna be mostly produced by me. Gonna have some uh, input from this short. <laughs>